CBS 8 is celebrating Earth Week. Every night this week at 6, we're bringing you stories about the planet and environment ahead of Earth Day next Monday. This time, food waste is one of the top contributors to methane gas, and that's not good for the environment. The EPA reports that in 2022, 96% of food wasted in American households ended up in a landfill or down the drain. CBS 8's Abby Black gets an inside look at how a large campus like the University of San Diego is working toward zero waste by reducing food waste. And every single one of these buckets is filled with food waste. Say the brines from romaine lettuce. What would usually go to the landfill at USD is now going into this composter that can break it down in 24 hours. That food waste is then turned into soil that can be used on USD grounds. Gallant. And then this is more leftover scrape from students. Plates. And gallant. Leftover pasta that after a certain time period we cannot use. And gallons of food waste being dumped into this biodigester at the University of San Diego. Same with rice, eggshells. The commercial composter is able to break down everything but avocado pits, bones, and oyster shells. The arms are spinning it around, getting it all mixed in with those enzymes, so it's starting to break down that food. 24 hours later. And this is really nice, it's just soil. The nutrient-rich soil is then spread across the lawns and plants on the USD campus. Now let's take you back to where it all starts. Food waste from plates at the dining hall, dorms, off-campus housing, or kitchen scraps from food prep are dumped into these blue bins. It's about 450 pounds of food that will break down into that bucket. That's every day. We just throw away in the trash and it's like not a second thought, but if we're like really conscious about it, then I think it's very important. Crystal and Alvidrez Lee is at second year at USD and is mindful of food waste. Definitely I try to reduce my food waste by not like taking more than I need or trying to be rational about that. She also bought a $5 Aussie box that's provided on campus. Instead of a paper to go container, the reusable box can be recycled in this machine. Students are then given a token that can be used to get a clean Aussie box. In 2023, over 42 million cardboard to go containers were saved here at USD by using simply this little plastic box. John Alejandro's the director of sustainability at USD. He points to a United Nations report that found in 2022 humans wasted one trillion dollars worth of food globally. In California, landfills are the number one contributor of methane gas. Methane emissions are a big contributor to greenhouse gas. The EPA reports that one third of all food in the U.S. goes uneaten and households are big food wasters. People at home can reduce their food waste by simply taking a paper bag like this one and putting their food waste into it and then just tossing that paper bag into their green food compost bin. Or you can scrape your food directly into a green bin. Now it may take some getting used to, but remember the early days of recycling? Eventually it will easily fit into to your routine. Even one day a week, if they just, you know, recycled their food, that would greatly help everybody in the end. While not every home can afford an expensive biodigester, USD says the cost of being better environmental stewards is much greener. It's worth every penny. I'll say that. For Earth 8, Abby Black, CBS 8.